Have you ever felt like doing this to a coworker? <laughs> Maybe on a Monday. This video gone viral may have ended up in your email inbox. With me now is Ben Hud, the creator of the Cheeseburger Network. It's a weblog comprised of sites like I Can Has Cheeseburger and the Fail Blog, all devoted to making people happy for five minutes a day with videos and photos like the ones you just saw. Well, Ben, would you ever have thought that catching moments like this on tape and then posting them online would net you $30 million from VCs? Uh, no, actually, I never imagined that. It wasn't designed to be that way, but we're very happy to be where we are. And you had mentioned to me that you guys got two and a quarter million in angel round financing, and then you got $30 million from VC guys, right. and you didn't even need the money. Yeah, so we were profitable since we started, and we started in the uh, beginning of the recession in September of 2007. So we were very happy where we were, but we thought the money could take us to a whole other level. What are you going to use the money on then? So we're hiring, hiring, hiring. Uh, we've got about 40 jobs that are open right now, um, mostly in Seattle. That's where we're based, but across the country as well. Okay, so we're going to look for an uptick in the uh, employment numbers in Washington. I, I hope I can make a dent. <laughs> These are viewer-generated content videos that viewers contribute to your site. Doesn't that make you vulnerable to some sense to people losing interest in your site, switching to other websites? Yeah, absolutely. That's like a game that any entertainment company plays. But we also have the advantages of people being very much invested in their own success. Okay. We just showed you some of these pictures that have been shown on your website. Cats. That's, that's a common theme here. And a lot of creatively misspelled captions as well. You yourself are allergic to cats, so can you explain to me the appeal of cats and why they work? Well, to be honest, I didn't actually get the site the first three times I visited, so I purchased the site in September of 2007. Because you didn't get it? Because I, I didn't actually understand it the first two times, but the third time I went there, I saw something that I liked, and I said, oh, I get it, these are cats, and they're speaking like their own English. It's like watching Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> I guess so. But the cats are actually pretty smart and they're very emotive. They can actually express a lot of human emotion through their faces, which makes them a great canvas. Interesting. Okay. And of course, that's just one of your websites. Uh, you've been starting new websites constantly. Do you find that existing viewers move to these new websites or are you f attracting new viewers each time? Uh, the goal is to attract new viewers each time. Some people move, some people don't. But really the idea is that we can cover every little playground that people want to play on. So if you have a different taste and humor, mm -hmm. we've got a site for you. Hmm. Wouldn't that make it too fragmented? You know, that's what's beauty, uh, beautiful about the internet is that you can actually cater to a specific niche of people and actually make them very happy. So that's what we're trying to do is cater to each individual niche uh, as much as we can. Okay, let's go back to that $30 million because I'm yeah. intrigued here. Um, you guys were profitable from the beginning. The VCs have come in. Have they made any helpful suggestions as to what you do with the money? Actually, they have. Uh, one of the things that's a problem with a small, profitable business is that you tend to think small. You tend to think about making a small profit versus actually going for the big uh, win. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's really about changing mentality and going for the biggest win we can trying to become the next Disney versus trying to be a human network. So does that mean that you're looking for other websites to buy? Yeah, actually we are, yeah. Uh, so we've actually gone out and contacted several people about the websites that we want to buy, but we're, we're very much opportunistic. We only want to buy stuff that actually fits our concept, mm -hmm. not just any humor website. So what do you look for? We look for very engaged communities of people actually submitting or generating content and that engagement has to be very loyal and brand friendly. Can you give me an example? Um, yeah, actually, we had a site uh, we bought actually early last year called The Daily What. And it's a curated site uh, run by an editor in Boston that actually chronicles all the things that happen on the internet, mm -hmm. which seems like a very broad topic, but it does a great job. Mm -hmm. And we, we felt that that uh, met our ethos. Hmm, okay. Now, you mentioned that Cheeseburger has been profitable since its inception in yeah. 2007. The website is free to users. I can log on right now. I don't have to pay anything. That's so right. this is all supported by advertising? Yeah, about 80, 70 to 80 percent of our revenue comes from advertising, the advertising that you see on the site. Mm -hmm. uh, the remainder comes from publishing and merchandising. And that's something you do in-house or you link up with someone else? We actually try to find the best partners we can. So we've used many different publishers for our books. Two of the books have been New York Times bestsellers, for example, um, through their distribution channels. Um, but we'll also outsource the pro um, product manufacturing to other people as well. Okay, and you're in town not to meet with financiers, you were saying, but to attend a conference. That's right, yeah. There's an O'Reilly uh, conference called Tools of Change that I'm actually speaking at. Okay, well, good luck at the conference and good luck with your uh, adventure with the Cheeseburger Network. Thank you, Scarlett. Ben Hud, the CEO of Cheeseburger Network. If you have five minutes and you want to laugh, you might want to check out his website.